Howdy, my name is Tara, and I hope you're having a terrific day, and if you are not, this video is about to make your day just a little bit better. So I've just finished my mini vacation away from YouTube for the Thanksgiving holiday, and today I'm excited to announce a new series. The Complete Weapon Tier List series will be a series aimed at complementing my character build guides, as in my character build guides, the weapon recommendations can sometimes be a bit sparse, and this will allow me the opportunity to really lay out all of the desirable weapons on a character and show you how they match up. The first character we're going to be doing a weapon tier list for is Xing Shu, which is one of my most used characters in Genshin Impact, and I have personally tested out most of these weapons. Now, before we begin, my goal for 2020 is to hit 4,000 subscribers. I think we're at 3,400 right now, so please be sure to like and subscribe if you do end up enjoying Xing Shu's weapon tier list. The five weapon categories on our weapon tier list will be S for best in slot, A for meta, B for viable, C for okay, and D for early game. The weapons will also be listed and detailed in alphabetical order. The first best in slot weapon that we have will be Aquila Fafonia. And Aquila Fafonia has the highest base attack out of any sword by far with an effect that increases attack further. While it may have a physical damage bonus secondary stat, the high base attack and effect make up for that. This will do the most consistently high damage out of any weapon option with a possible upside being that it enables Xingxiu to do better in co-op from that physical damage bonus. It will also make Xingxiu capable of being a main damage dealer, but I think using Xingxiu as a main damage dealer is choosing to use him suboptimally, as there are other characters who have much stronger normal attacks. In the end, this is a 5-star weapon, and getting it max refined is impossible for majority of players, so I recommend sticking with the meta or other best-in-slot options unless you are willing to well for a minuscule advantage. The second S-tier and best-in-slot weapon is that known as the Black Cliff Longsword. Black Cliff Longsword has a massive damage output with a high base attack, crit damage secondary stat, and an effect that can be fully utilized by Xing Shu. Black Cliff will do less damage than Aquila Fafonia with no attack percent stacks from its effect, but will do more damage with attack percent stacks. So while you will be trading off that consistently high damage, at the top end you will be doing way more. Next up we have two B tier viable weapons known as the Black Sword and Royal Longsword. Both of these weapons are kind of the lesser version of Black Cliff Longsword, but still completely viable on Xing Shu. If I had one of these already leveled, it would be advisable to not invest resources in building the more meta weapon options to save resources. And as a side note, Black Sword, similar to Aquila Fafonia, can make Xing Shu better in co-op or as a main damage dealer. Another viable weapon option is that known as Fafonia Sword, and this is an energy recharge weapon that can be used to try to get 100% uptime of Xing Shu's elemental burst. 100% uptime of Xing Shu's elemental burst may be sought after, as when using Xing Shu in a supportive role, having guaranteed uptime of his elemental burst can be advantageous when needing his sword rain for elemental reactions. A D tier or early game weapon on Xing Shu is that known as Filet Blade, and Filet Blade is just one of those weapons that is extremely good early on until around Adventure Rank 30. It is found out in the world in chests and requires low resources to upgrade, making it good to feed to other weapons late game or to just transfer onto other characters later. Now the first A tier meta weapon that we will be talking about is that known as Harbinger of Dawn. Rank 5 Harbinger of Dawn effect increasing crit rate by 28% just completely completely makes up for it being a 3-star weapon with low base attack. Harbinger of Dawn also has a higher crit damage secondary stat than that of Black Cliff Longsword. This is a weapon that you do not want to overlook just because of its low base attack, as when considering additional attack from the Feather Artifact slot, Harbinger of Dawn will have a much higher total attack to develop critical hits from. It does do slightly less damage overall than Black Cliff Longsword, but being a 3-star weapon makes max refinement and investment cheap. Harbinger of Dawn's damage output may suffer at times, as Xing Shu can drop below 90% health periodically though. Now for the one and only C tier weapon, it's going to be Iron Sting. Iron Sting is the best free to play craftable weapon on Xing Shu. The Elemental Mastery secondary stat works great in a plethora of compositions that utilize elemental reactions, and the elemental damage effect is incredible as he can easily make use of it. For our last two weapons, they're going to be metal weapons, it's Sacrificial Sword and Skyward Blade. These are the two best energy recharge weapons on Xing Shu. Either one of these will often ensure 100% uptime of Xing Shu's elemental burst, and Sacrificial Sword will even ensure that 100% uptime without having Xing Shu at max constellation. You will be sacrificing a huge amount of damage for this 100% uptime, but depending on the situation or team composition, that may be desired. Having completed all 12 floors of the Spiral Abyss using primarily Xing Shu, I can confidently state that energy recharge weapons are overrated on Xing Shu and not remotely required on him. 
Depending on the encounter, majority of the time, Xingxu will have his elemental burst up off of cooldown without an energy recharge weapon. This means you sacrifice the amazing damage output on Black Cliff Longsword or Harbinger of Dawn in situations where your elemental burst would have been up anyways. I hope this weapon tier list gave you some ideas on what you will be equipping your Xingxu with. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on Xingxu's weapon options down in the comments. You can also head over to my Discord for additional game help, and that link is found in the description. Bye-bye now.